Hi, I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. Today is an exciting day. We're in Salango in Sha Alam, and we're meeting up with some of our subscribers, and they have brought us to this amazing little eatery to try some traditional Kelantanese dishes. We can't wait. Let's eat. We're about to tuck into this incredible looking breakfast. We've ordered laksam, which is a traditional noodle dish that's eaten in Kelantan. And we've also got nasi dagang, which is one of our favorite dishes ever. More about the food later, but we're here with some of our subscribers who contacted us and said that they knew that we hadn't been able to try laksam we were in Kelantan last, and so they wanted to bring us here. We are so excited to be eating breakfast with everyone. Back to the food. So laksam is this noodle dish, but the noodles are like these thick rice noodle rolls. And then auntie's just cut the noodle rolls into bite-sized pieces. And they're like sitting like little, almost like little um, cinnamon scrolls in the bowl. And then this beautiful, thick, creamy fish gravy, which is made from sardine, has been poured over the top. And then we've got a little bit of sambal, um, some vegetables, some cucumber, some herbs. So there's like torch ginger in there and also down kasom. Down kasom? Yeah. Girls, yeah. what's down kasom? Down kasom is uh, something to make some food delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was the My best God. explanation. <laughs> Basically, just really, really tasty stuff is in here. So I'm going to get in because it looks absolutely delicious. And the rice noodle rolls, they are slippery and wobbly. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is just so good. The broth is super creamy. It's got a really strong fish flavor, like an oily fish flavor. And then the vegetables are really crisp, really crunchy. I've got a bit of cucumber, and it just cuts through the heaviness of the, or intensity of the flavors. That broth though, I just want to grab this extra broth that we've got here and just slurp it right up. It is so good. I have to try this Luxum. Anyone who's been watching our videos will know that we went on a huge Luxum hunt up in Kalantan over Hari Raya, but because it was the holiday, everything was shut. All the fishermen were having a break, all the shops were shut, so we couldn't find it in a restaurant, we couldn't find fish so we could make it ourselves. So it was a real hunt, but ultimately a failure. So, so good to finally be able to try this dish. If you haven't seen our videos from up in Kalantan, we'll link them up there because we had such a fun time. We're looking forward to heading back up to the those states and Turanganu is really high on our list. In fact, everywhere is high on our list. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you can follow our journey through Malaysia. Oh, this looks good. The smell is incredible. The broth is very thick much thicker than I was expecting and the herbs the way it's all been mixed up so the herbs and the the chili and the cucumber is all coated on everything I've just got one big noodle and some broth or some sauce <laughs> mm, there's sardines in there and they're so strong but not I think sardines get a bad name because people Especially Westerners, we know sardines as tin sardines, so in oil and just so strong, so strong in flavor, which I love, but I can understand why some people don't. This is fresh sardine, so it's much more subtle. It's a very oily little fish, and you can taste that in there, but it's subtle. It's got just beautiful fishy flavors, ocean flavors. The herbs, the chili's not too hot, but it's got a nice, Nice little kick, it's sort of just coated the top of my mouth, so it's not burning, it's not killing me, or I'm not sweating because of it, but it's added a great little kick. It's crunch from the cucumber, and then that array of other herbs is just, the, the flavors from those is one of the strongest flavors, actually. The fish flavor's sinking away, and now the herb flavor is just strong. I'm gonna try just a bit of the, bit of the broth. Wow. Wow, that is so good. 
Sheena and I are going to be fighting over this. Although the nasi degang, which is one of our favorite dishes of all time, is sitting right in front of Sheena, and I can see her shaking with desperation to get into it. <laughs> I totally am. Nasi degang is from the east coast states of Peninsula Malaysia and it is a really popular dish there and I can absolutely see why. This dish is a marriage of flavours. You have rice which is made up of both normal rice and sticky rice and then you've got some coconut here. This is fresh coconut and it looks quite powdery. I've never seen this co or the coconut look like this before but they've pounded it after it's been um, grated and then you've got this beautiful fish it's called tongkol which is the local tuna and when you break it away it just flakes off in chunks and it's really meaty and then we've got these beautiful fresh cucumbers and onion and chili which has been pickled that I think will add a real beautiful sweet vinegary kick. I'm just going to get in because this looks absolutely mouth watering. I'm going to grab a bit of everything. That fish is just so meaty. Oh wow. It's heavenly. It is just the perfect combination of ingredients and flavours. You've got the sourness, vinegariness from the um, pickled veg, the meatiness of the tuna, which has got a beautiful, um, like, creamy coconut sauce. The coconut, or toasted, or fresh toasted, grated, fresh coconut, Thomas? Is that right? Yeah, fresh, then pounded, then toasted. Mm. Toasted and pounded. Toasted and pounded fresh mm. coconut. Adds such a beautiful sweetness, and then that rice has got yeah. such a great texture. Like the stickiness of the pullet or sticky rice, and then the fresh rice, which sort of has this um, really chewy kick. Ah, oh, this is just the best breakfast. Ever. Don't forget, always down below in the description, details on where we're eating because this place is totally worth the visit. So check in the description if you want to know exact details on where we're eating. We're now going to enjoy our tetarek. Enjoy this food because it is really, really good and it's getting way too cold. I'm loving this. Are you guys enjoying? Yeah. Good breakfast. I think I it's got it. a thumbs up from everyone, so let's eat, Sheena. We're just having a good chat to Auntie, who's been here for how many years? Uh, here. Uh, my, 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 Your store. Uh, 20, 20 years. years. 20 years. And she's selling these amazing dishes. So the laksan, which oh, we yeah. had, the nasi dagang, yeah. nasi lemak. Is that all? Yeah. Nasi lama and then uh, yeah, nasi lau. Yeah, nasi balau. Nasi karabu. Nasi karabu. This is so much so amazing food. Okay, you have yeah. to come and eat here. We'll put directions to her eatery down below in the description. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that breakfast was good. Woo -hoo -hoo. So good. And now we're going to find more food. <laughs> we love it. Whenever we are with locals and subscribers on these food hunting missions, it always turns into more food. Food. So today has been filled with selfies and food hunting. <laughs> we jumped in the car and drove about 30 meters to this nasi champur or mixed rice restaurant. We've totally beaten the lunch rush. We're the first people here and thank God for that because there is so much amazing looking food. There is all sorts. We've got curry fish head, there's um, catfish cooked in some sort of spicy looking sauce, there's a bawal fish, so just whole pan fried fish, there's kambing or um, lamb mutton curry, there's vegetables, there is just so much to get in and try. Some of our group has had to head off, but the eating continues. Now, we didn't want to be too greedy because we're pretty stuffed from breakfast, but we just had to try these two dishes. We have got kambing masak korma, which is a mutton curry of sorts, and then padri nanas, which is a pineapple 
curry and it was actually cooked with brinjal or eggplant. The sauces look so rich and honestly, I can smell the lamb from here. The beautiful spices are just wafting up into my nostrils and I've got to get in. The kambing or the mutton is on the bone and I love meat on the bone. I reckon it just has so much more flavour than just a huge hunk of meat and you can see you've got the, the bone marrow so you can see that little bit of marrow that we can suck out there. Oh I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna get in and try that bit there. That piece of meat just fell off the bone. There's a little bit of um, tendon there. I'm gonna give that um, uh, bone marrow in there a big old suck. Wow, that just shot out of the bone. It was so creamy. This pineapple, wow. We've never had pineapple curry before, but we did try it in a recent video when we had nasi kukus. We'll link the video up there. So I'm really desperate to give this a go. It looks absolutely scrumptious. Mmm, beautiful coconut spicy sauce. And that nanas or pineapple is so intensely sweet. That is beautiful. So good, but we're gonna dive in, not spend too long talking about this one because it's been a lot of chatting and we just want to get on with the eating. There is going to be another stop after this. Last stop of the day. We think this tour just keeps going and going. I think we're going to try and get some dessert here because we've had a lot of amazing savory stuff. So a little bit of sweet would be good. Remember, details as always down in the description so you two can find these places. It's time to hit the desserts and boy have we got a selection to choose from. We're at the Bubu station. Bubu is porridge but these are sweet porridge. So we've got a pulut hitam bubu which is a black sticky rice porridge. We've got some mung bean porridge and we've got corn porridge. And I think that there's a lot of coconut milk in some of these so I'm excited to try them. We've never had Malay bubu before so it's time to get in. It's dessert time. I'm really ready for some sweets. And this one, I've seen this around before, but I was never actually sure what it is. It's called ubi kayu and it's tapioca, so it is, it's a root vegetable. This is the actual vegetable that is covered in sugar and coconut and it's very beautiful. It looks like snow and ice, so kind of looking at it, it looks like it's gonna be cold, but it's not because it's just the coconut and sugar. It's got this nice snow look to it. The, um, the tapioca root, is I've just broken up some of it. It's kind of potato in texture, like a boiled potato. And let's just eat it. Mmm. Wow. The texture is totally like potato. There's a little bit of crunch from the sugar. The coconut's not too strong. It's kind of floral, sort of banana-y. Sweet, there's a little bit of saltiness. I think there might be some salt in here. That's really, really nice. I'm the designated porridge taster. I'm gonna start with the corn bubu. It looks real good. Mmm. Oh, the flavor of that coconut milk is so sweet and creamy. The corn is real bite. And then there's these tiny little sago in there that sort of pop in your mouth. That's beautiful. I'm gonna give this um, mung bean one a go. Mmm, very earthy, sweet from coconut milk again. That's a lot heavier, I think, just because of the bean. I'm moving to the bubo pull it here time, so black sticky rice. Look at that, the colour of it is absolutely beautiful. It's almost glistening. Mm -hmm. Anything with rice I'm a huge fan of and that is just incredible. The rice flavour is very intense and then that creamy coconut milk. I can see why everyone raves about bubble. We are definitely going to be eating more of these in the future. Can you show 
And that is another food hunting day done and dusted. Absolutely love these days where you just go out and all you do is hunt down <laughs> amazing food. Do you guys do this? Do you go out like we do and just hunt for food and spend your weekends eating? We'd love to know if you do and where you love doing it. Awesome. These are one of these are my favorite types of days. Traveling meeting locals, eating with them, having great conversations. There's just nothing like it. Thank you so much to our new friends who took us around to all their favorite spots. We absolutely loved it. Thank you, Tarima Kasi. We hope we inspired you to eat and explore like a traveler, not a tourist. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Jumpalagi! Jumpalagi!